How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as strong or weak? Capable or incapable? Do you believe that your past has to always affect your future? Do you believe that God loves you? Do you believe today that you're special? Maybe all your life you've been treated like the tail end of everything. Maybe you had siblings and it seemed to you like your mom and dad always preferred all the other kids over you. Maybe you had difficulty learning in school and you always were got the worst grades. Maybe you were always the last one that was picked for the sports team when you were playing sports in school. Maybe you've been rejected, maybe you've been abused, maybe you've been abandoned. But let me tell you something. You are special. And God has a plan for your life. And there's nothing that you've been through that you cannot recover from because you are stronger than you think you are. You are capable of amazing things. But if you don't think you are, then you will let challenges defeat you. When you feel overwhelmed, like the pressure is too much, it's because you're stronger than you think. You haven't discovered all that's in you. You'll never know how strong you really are until you face pressure that you've never faced. It may seem unbearable, but the fact that God allowed it means that you can handle it. You can look back at times where you didn't think you could go on. The pressure seemed unbearable, but somehow it didn't defeat you. You had the strength to get up another day. You kept going when you didn't feel like you had anything left. Why didn't it break you? Because you were stronger than you thought. God designed you to handle that pressure. He wouldn't have allowed you to get in it if he hadn't already put in you what you needed to handle it. You will always be able to bear whatever comes your way. If we stay strong spiritually, then really no matter what comes against us, we will make it through. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. That doesn't mean there's going to be no pain involved. But truly, truly, we can do all things through Christ, who is our strength. You may think, how can I raise these children, take care of my elderly parents at the same time? How can I make it through this treatment? How can I overcome this anxiety? When you are weak, he is strong. God has not brought you this far to leave you. He's not going to let you stay overwhelmed. You may feel that way at times, but that is not how your story ends. You're going to feel a strength that pushes you forward, a power to do what you couldn't do before. Whatever you need to do, whatever you're facing right now, and some of you are going through some really difficult things. Whatever it is that you're facing right now, I want to tell you, you can do it. You have got what it takes. Come on, you have got what it takes. I said you can do it. You have got what it takes. Come on, we got to get rid of this weak, wimpy, pitiful, pathetic, it's too much for me kind of attitude. God is on your side. You are more than a conqueror. You are a warrior. You have authority over the enemy. And I'm telling you that you can do whatever you need to do through Christ who is your strength. There's something that nobody can do for you but you. And that's refuse to give up. God can't do that for you. Your pastor can't do that for you. Your friends can't do that for you. Only you can find that place in you that says, I'm not quitting and I'm not giving up. Quit looking at all the things you can't do. Have a new perspective. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This obstacle may be big, but I can overcome it. This trouble is taking longer than I thought, but I can outlast it. This situation feels overwhelming, but I can handle it. I've been designed for it. I'm strong. I'm anointed. I'm equipped. Don't have a weak mentality. You weren't created to fall apart when pressure comes. You are stronger than you think. You are more favored than you think. You are more anointed than you think.
The enemy wants us to think that we're weak, that we can't do it. It's too much for us. It's overwhelming. It's too hard. But the truth is, is that if you think strong, you'll be strong. And if you think weak, you're going to be weak. I can do whatever I need to do through Christ, who is my strength. And I am stronger than I think I am. I think all of us, to be honest, can do a lot more than the devil would like to have us think that we can do. And the truth is, is if you think you can't, you can't. And if you think you can, you can't. God has put so much ability in us. I don't think any one of you has any idea how much ability that you have. I mean, God-given, God-ordained ability on the inside of you. And once again, I know that some of you are hurting so bad right now, and maybe your pain has been so bad, you even just feel really confused. And you know what? If you can't seem to grasp anything that I'm saying today other than this, I want you to remember that you are stronger than you think you are, and you can do whatever you need to do, because you know what? Jesus is in you. He's for you. He's with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Believe that you can and you'll be able to. When you're weak, you need to say, I am strong. When you feel overwhelmed, you need to say, I can do all things through Christ. When you feel intimidated, you need to say, I am a mighty hero. When the pressure feels too much, you need to say, I am well able. I can handle it. When you start seeing yourself as strong, empowered, well able, you won't be overwhelmed. You'll discover strength that you didn't know you had. He is our strength. He doesn't just give us strength. He is our strength. And the minute that you have any sign of difficulty, even before you have difficulty, every day, pray early. God, give me the strength today to deal with whatever I need to deal with because I believe that I can do all things through Christ who is my strength. And I like what the Amplified Bible says about that scripture. It says, I'm ready for anything. I'm equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. Let's be the kind of people that are ready for anything. We don't even know what it is yet, but we're ready for whatever comes our way. And we already know we're going to have the victory before we ever have the problem. You want to make God proud? Stand strong. Be courageous. Think like a champion. Talk like an overcomer. Praise when you could be complaining. Declare victory when all you see is defeat. Expect favor when it seems impossible. God has awesome things in your future. 